Everybody in this country have been hurt around racism. It really doesn't matter how white you are or different shades of brown. Everybody in this country. As human beings, we come into the world desiring connections with all people. Through education and individual empowerment, the Center for the Healing of Racism promotes understanding by facilitating open, honest dialogue among people of all cultures. I grew up in a small town in Pennsylvania, and there were no people of color at all. Well, one family. So I grew up really isolated. And I remember as, as a child sitting in front of the television uh, in the 60s and seeing riots and that sort of thing and thinking as a child I bet all these people of color, all these African American people hate white people and I can't blame them. It's always considered better to be lighter skinned and look more like European Americans or Europeans uh, than to have a darker skin. And so this was a lot of craziness that was going on in my head and uh, the center was just totally um, it was just such a healing moment for me to finally realize and to, to know the truth about that whole lie. In terms of the skin color, people would think about Latino, maybe more like a waiter, waitress. Or, you know, for black, there will be more like a like labor work. But that's not true because it's a, my work experience with the Fox, to me, it's, a, it's a totally different. It doesn't matter of the race, gender, or the skin color. They all have uh, different walks of life, and we need different walks of life uh, in, you know, in our society. As kids who, who aren't white, or that they're children of color, that they do face challenges, and they do face social prejudices that I don't know about. And could they share that with me? Because I'll never experience it. And you know, that's like, that's like magic, because it says, I, you know, I, I honor you. I honor who you are, no matter what your skin color is. We are more alike than we are different. One of the things that I, I learned from the center was, uh, first of all, about healing. Um, that there are lots of things that were inside of me that perhaps I didn't even realize were there that the center helped to bring out about my feelings about people and different kinds of people. And uh, so the healing aspect of it was so good and so healthy. And of course, that is an ongoing thing the rest of my life. The center made me realize that I'm a, a good person, that I am a family, that we are all are related to one another. There's no such thing as races. Uh, we are all one family. Whatever group of people we're looking at, once we get to know individuals, we no longer put them all in a category. We now we know them as individuals. And that may be one of the major things that dialogue does, is allow us to interact with individuals instead of categories of people. If you don't know people who are different from you, if you don't take the time to get to know people that are different from you, and you always have these misconceptions and these assumptions and move from stereotypes as opposed to fact. Since 1989, more than 20,000 people have benefited from the center's workshops. The greatest challenge lies in the education of our youth with workshops for students in pre-K through 12th grade. With age-appropriate programs designed for individual schools, the center can help bring understanding of racism and prejudice to our children. With your help, we can begin the healing of racism at an early age and change our world one person at a time. Together, we can empower both children and adults to appreciate the many different threads that make up the rich fabric of our society. At the center, our mission is simple. Teach children about both the differences and the oneness of the human family. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. That we are more alike. We are more alike. Than we are different. Teach me. Teach me. Not to hate people. Because I don't know them. Because I don't know them. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me.
Not to hurt others, not to hold all those through stereotypes and prejudice. Teach me. Teach me. To value my culture. To value my culture. And the culture of others. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. To value my character. And the character of others. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. The lie and shame of racism hurts all people. Hurts all people. Hurts all people. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. Teach me. To want to learn about you. To learn about you. To learn about you. Teach me.